Hello, my name is Afton and I am Matthew's tarot child. And here on my YouTube channel, I will be doing pick a card readings like this one today and general readings for the collective. If you resonate with anything that you hear with any reading, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear feedback. As you can tell, this is my first pick a card reading. So I have three piles picked out for you. If you would like to take a moment to pause and meditate on each pile to find the correct message for you, you can do so now. Pile number one is the smoky quartz. Pile number two is the yellow citrine. And pile number three is the queer quartz. Welcome to your reading, pile number one. I'm going to get started with your tarot cards first, and then we're going to look at the oracle cards as well for clarification on your message. Okay. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Messenger. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Also have a magician. Okay. Let's see. Move some stuff out of the way. Okay. With three of pentacles here, um, you may be working with a group of people. Let's see. The messenger and the magician as well. With the messenger here, you may be sharing some news or you may be revealing a message to someone in need. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, whatever message you have to offer, will be of great benefit to you as well. The Queen of Pentacles offers stability um, within the material world, not always finances, but mostly finances. Um, and the Magician here may reflect that you are manifesting the stability within the Queen of Pentacles. Get some clarifying messages. We have indecision. We have fear. We have judgment. And we have death. And usually when the death card comes out within tarot or within the oracle, it does not actually mean a physical death of a of a body necessarily. It could sometimes. Um, but usually, death within tarot means a rebirth. Um, you are redeveloping yourself or redeveloping the way that you see yourself and others also see yourself. Um, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. It comes right underneath the three of pentacles, which means that there may be miscommunication. Um, within the teamwork that you are in and you are being guided to use your intuition within a group setting possibly to take the lead with the messenger yes we can work in groups but someone has to be at the front of the group someone has to lead and that may be you but you may have a fear of leading or a fear of sharing the message that you have fear I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love okay right underneath the Queen of Pentacles we have judgment I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges especially with the three of Pentacles the team coming in you are realizing that working in a group means that you have to all come together with all of your own unique challenges and make them work together. That is where your stability will come in. That is where your throne of sanctuary 
is being built. Recognizing that working together is challenging, but worth it. The magician is here and right underneath it is death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, which the magician conjures those new beginnings. They use their magic to transform within themselves. Let's see. I also have some more clarifying cards. We have insecurities. We have deep. We have regrets. And we also have successful. So you may be regretting speaking up about something. You may be regretting using your voice within this group setting. It could be in a work environment, but it doesn't have to be. Let's see. There may be someone judging you because of you using your voice and speaking up. And the only reason that they would be doing that is because they themselves couldn't speak up as well. Um, whatever you are working on with these group of people though will be successful because you are using your intuition because you are taking the lead and guiding should not have regrets or fear about it because it is divine it is supposed to be let's see i'm going to pull some clarifying cards if i can find my card some clarifying cards on why regrets are here We also have insecurities as well. You may be feeling insecure about your rebirth, the rebirth of yourself, the, the shedding of the shedding of insecurities. Let's see. I think one thing that I'm picking up within this reading is that you're having some fear and some and some doubt about your magic about the magic within you and the message that you have to send to others based on your environment and the people that you are working around or are around on a daily but you are using your intuition to realize that those feelings and insecurities of doubt are not your own they do not belong to you you know that you are here for a reason. You know that you have a purpose. And no matter if it is difficult to work with others, you decide to do so anyway because it is for the betterment of whatever you are manifesting. And of course, we, we always use our discernment to make sure that we are not in an environment where we no longer need to be or is not safe for us. But we also know that Good things do not come without hard work. Why is successful here? Why is the card successful here? Okay. We have... We have the Nine of Pentacles here. Over successful. which means that you are bringing in what you've put out. You are watching something grow. Let's see. But we also have the Three of Swords over regrets and justice over judgment. 
so I can see that someone has done wrong to you. And that may be why you are so hesitant on releasing your message. Someone may be saying that you can't when you can, or you should when you should. But with the justice, the justice card over judgment, their thoughts over you do not prevail. Their thoughts on how you should live your life do not prevail at all. And they won't because you are successful. You will be successful. With the justice, the, the message for judgment is coming out even stronger. I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. You understand that the people who are talking about you and judging you are doing so because they are having a hard time accepting themselves or judging themselves and their actions. But you are the magician and you are aware of everyone else's path, which path and pain, which helps you navigate your own. And the hermit over insecurities and death so when the hermit card comes out that means that we need to go within we need to take time within ourselves in order for that death to happen in order for that shedding of our old selves to happen in order for those insecurities to be shed as well um, you can't expect change to happen if you don't even know where the change is supposed to be coming from within yourself and that is a, usually a hard thing to do within a society that's focused on everyone else and not ourselves taking time to go within is not necessarily ideal but that is where you will find all the answers to your questions all the things about why am I letting this three of swords bother me so much why am i focused on the three of swords instead of my nine of pentacles instead of my success the things that i am growing and planting it into the earth using my magic once you take some time within yourself you release this you release the insecurities you release the three of swords the hurt that they have placed upon you can be released and this is definitely the time for that mercury retrograde and all of the planets within retrograde is signaling to us to release to let go of the things that no longer serve us to let go of the expectations that people place upon us that are not our own we can expect things from ourselves but when other people are expecting things from you that's not that's not how your dreams manifest that you're manifesting someone else's dreams you're doing someone else's work you're not doing it for yourself let's see i am also going to do some reflection cards they each card has two questions on either side of them i may ask both questions or i may just ask one but these are simply to give you something to reflect on and a question to ask yourself throughout the day. Let's see. Any questions for group number one? Any questions for group number one? Any questions for group number one? tell you the truth about your life the world or anything else what would you want to know and the second question is what is one thing you like to do that sets you up for a great day you're going to have a great day regardless regardless of 
anyone judging you, regardless of the pains of the rebirth that you are going through, of shedding old skin, of shedding insecurities, you're going to have a great day. You just have to set yourself up for this great day. Plant the seeds for great days ahead because you're going to be successful. Whatever you want to manifest within your life, you can because you are the magician. All right, guys, I hope that this made sense. I hope it brought clarity. I hope that you all take this information, remind yourself that you are the magician and that no one can touch you because you are successful. I love you guys and I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hello, group number two. If you chose the pile with the yellow citrine, then I look forward to reading for you. I love yellow citrine. It makes me feel happy, you know? The, the color yellow makes you just feel happy. So I'm gonna start with your tarot cards first, and then I'm going to read the oracles and enter. So we have the three of wands. We have the knight of wands. We have the king of swords. And we have the queen of swords. Lots of action and lots of thoughts. For our oracle, we have friendship. We have gratitude. We have trust and honesty. Okay. For more oracle, we have 411, which is get in the stitch. What's the 411? We have triumph. We have spirit and we have renewal okay so automatically I'm seeing a lot of movement within your within your reading the three of wands talks about foresight um, and seeing before you even need to be told type of situation um, You could be getting visions. You could be seeing things that other people aren't seeing in the moment. The Knight of Wands talks about action. So using spirit, because that card is right above the Knight of Wands, using spirit to take action within your magic. The King of Swords is talking about the, some type of knowledge that you've gained, some type of clarity, and also the Queen of Swords as well. You, Something has been revealed to you. Someone has told you something, or you've seen the truth before they had a, a chance to tell you. You got the, four, the 411 from Spirit. Spirit told you something. refresh like you've woken up a spiritual awakening a spiritual renewal you guys are very very spiritual connected we have friendship I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason okay gratitude I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents showing your gratitude to spirit and they are rewarding you with this knowledge they are rewarding you with the truth that you are seeking trust I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and honesty I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself and that's a word that is a word 
Honesty is right underneath Queen of Swords, and she is described as the throne of truth. You cannot always expect the truth, especially from friends sometimes, but you can expect it from yourself. You can expect to know the truth before it is even revealed to you. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to pull a few more tarot cards for clarification. Why is renewal here? Why is renewal here for group two? may have a renewal in 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 within your foresight you may have newly been shown something by a friend or something that a friend did and when it says I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason there's a reason and there's a season Sometimes we learn all too well that the people closest to us have the most opportunity to hurt us. Um, but it doesn't matter if they try or not, you'll be triumphant. And then in that case, I don't know if friendship is the word that we'll use, but there's good and there's bad. This isn't all bad. It doesn't mean someone's out to get you. It just means that you understand that there's a friend in your life for a reason. You've been, you could have renewed a friendship because of what they've said or done. Someone could be coming back into your life because they realized that they were, they had a great thing in their life and they were looking it in the eye, a great friend. Let's see. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me. Trust, do you trust your friend? you trust when they say I'm new I'm new again I'm not that same old gossipy person you know the spirit guiding you to say give them a second chance or are you being given new information that this person isn't being honest I can't always expect the truth from others but I can't expect it from myself are you telling yourself the truth or are you idealizing a friendship why is renewal here for group number two? 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 five of cups over friendship and renewal which means you could be focused on the cups that they have spilled the three cups that they have knocked over but they're coming back saying but look I didn't knock over your two cups but that's not what you're focused on and maybe it should it should be Maybe you should, you know, focus on how everyone has challenges. Everyone goes through things. And sometimes they accidentally knock your cup over. Sometimes they knock your juice out of your cup. But do you forgive them? Okay. Spirit. Over spirit and gratitude, we have death. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. And with the death card, death means renewal. Death means rebirth. So you are being asked to be grateful because that is an, also an opportunity that life presents. It's death. There's life and there's death. There's staying stagnant and then there's rebirth. Rebirthing ourselves. And spirit wants you to take action. And not to just say, oh, I'm healing because I'm healing, but to be grateful for the opportunity to heal, to be reborn, because some people don't always have that opportunity. 
okay why is triumph here why is triumph here for group number two 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 Three of Swords. Okay. And the knowledge that you were given may have been that someone wasn't being a true friend. Again, people closest to us can be the ones that hurt us the most. But you have to trust that you are going to be triumphant over whatever someone has brought to your doorstep. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly and I will be triumphant over this three of swords. The thing that has hurt me, I have become aware of with the throne of knowledge. So now that I have this knowledge, it no longer has power over me. I have power over it. I have power over how I react to it and I have power over how I um, let it affect me, right? You are triumphant. You should trust that. Why is 411 here? Why is 411 here for group number two? Why is 411 here for group number two? This is a lot about self, the high priestess. You are the high priestess. You are the, the seeker and holder of knowledge. You may have went out and sought the information that you were looking for and found it, and it really hurt you. It really, you know, you had a real hard time of trusting. But you have to renew your spirit because that's not who you are. The death card may feel painful, but at the end of it, you will realize this is who I was before the pain, and this is who I'm going to be after the high priestess. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And the truth is, you're going to be okay. The situation does not hold you, but you have to decide to move away from it and decide that no friendship is worth having to second guess or question if they're going to do it again, hurt you again, talk about you again, whichever. Okay? And so I have some reflection cards. Each card has two questions on them. I will either ask one or both of them, depending on how it resonates. And this is just for you to reflect, to think about some things. I'm all about reflection and thinking and, and questioning myself rather than questioning others, because I know that I hold all the answers to my questions. the biggest risk you've taken if you had another chance would you do anything differently hmm. is it a risk to step step away from this relationship this friendship do you find it 
risky to be in the friendship with this person? Do they bring out the worst in you? Are they not what you feel is a part of your soul tribe? If so, would you do anything differently? Okay. This has been your reading, guys. If anything resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think. Who is this three of swords <laughs> that knocked your cups over? You know? And how are you going to do the inner work to heal from it? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next time. Bye. Hello, group number three. You chose the clear quartz. Get into your reading. I'm going to start with the tarot cards and then I will pull some oracle. I have some oracle as well for clarification. The first card we have is Temperance. The second card we have is the Empress. Um, wow. The third card we have is the Sun and the fourth card we have is Judgment. These are all major arcana cards. The major talks about situations that are happening in the long term for your life okay let's see what else we have we have acceptance we have loneliness okay we have freedom mm. that's right underneath the sun and we have guilt underneath judgment emotional we have torn destiny and we have challenges okay which we know life does not come without challenges but good things also don't come without challenges right Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. And that could be a challenge for you. With the temperance card, it talks about balancing. Balancing between, you know, the physical and the spiritual, which is also a part of challenges. We can't change spirit we can't change the wind how the wind blows we can't change how bright the sun shines you know and sometimes sometimes we want our days to be sunnier than others you know and that's a challenge to accept that things are changing around you without your control we have loneliness i know that i am never alone Above that, we have Torn and the Empress. The Empress is an embodiment of nurturing. She's a feminine nurturer. And this could be you. This could be someone in your life who is nurturing you and letting you know that you are never alone. Spirit is letting you know that you are never alone. And sometimes the feelings of loneliness it does tear us apart it does make us feel like you know i i deserve to be alone but that is not the case you are very much so loved spirit wants you to know that you are not alone okay freedom i possess the power and the free will to create my own and that makes me smile because it's right underneath the sun and the destiny card. Your destiny is freedom. Your destiny is happiness, is lightheartedness. You are deserving of these things and much more. You are deserving to know that you are not alone. And spirit wants you to know that guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth yes yes within cancer season you're feeling very emotional 
you know and we're feeling guilty because we feel so emotional with everything going on it's like why do I have a right to feel this way people are going through so much more than me so why am I why am I feeling my loneliness so hard why are people telling me that I'm not alone when I feel like I am I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. And your soul's growth is destiny. Your soul's growth is the sun. This is your destiny. To be able to be at peace, sitting in a field of flowers, looking up at the sun. This is your destiny. This is what you deserve. But you have to believe it. You have to release it. This is the time for releasing. If you haven't cried, then all of these... <laughs> planets going retrograde and releasing that means that you're holding it on you're holding on to the things that are making you emotional and they don't serve you anymore but only you can be the judge of that guilt is right underneath the judgment card and usually with the judgment we think oh someone's judging me oh someone's looking at me funny no you need to be judging yourself you need to be judging your emotions why are you reacting to something this way you know if something happened a week ago or weeks ago months ago why are you still reacting to it why is it still triggering you because you haven't released it yet okay i'm going to pull some tarot cards for clarification why is challenges here for the collective why is challenges here for group three challenges here for group three why is challenges here for group three every time i'm looking at the challenges card i keep going back to the acceptance card i'm learning to accept the things i cannot change that is a challenge for all of us we are not alone in that loneliness release release control Release the beliefs that no longer serve you, that are not a part of you. Why is challenges here for group number two? Why is challenges here for group number three? Why is challenges here for group number three? Why is challenges here for group number three? fire sign challenges four of cups something's being handed to you something's being gifted to you freedom <laughs> freedom is being handed to you and you don't you don't want to hear it because you don't think you deserve it you feel guilty they're trying to give you this fourth cup and you don't want it but you have to release those insecurities. You have to release those insecurities of feeling as if you don't deserve more, as if you don't deserve freedom to create your own happiness. Why is Torn here for group number three? Why is Torn here for group number three? lovers usually it's a it's a sign for Gemini you could be a Gemini but there's two people in the card so you're not alone you may have a partner who's trying to 
show more affection, to be more affectionate, to help you become aware of all who's around you. They could be very nurturing, the Emperor's card here, but it's, it's straining. It's like, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make a drink. You have to realize that you're not alone. And yes, having a supportive person next to you does elevate you. It helps. But if you can't also pull yourself up, then they're just dragging you along. Okay? Destiny. Why is destiny here? For group number three. Why is destiny here for group number three? the power and the freedom I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness nine of pentacles she's planted these coins this is her own happiness and this is her destiny this is your destiny nine of pentacles and the sun once you realize how not alone you are and how free you are to create your own happiness outside of other people and with other people. You will find your nine of pentacles. You will find your, your seeds have harvested. They're waiting for you to go and pick them. Okay? Emotional. Why is emotional here? Okay. Cards popping out. I saw the death card. You could be going through a rebirth and you just you're trying to fight it. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yes, the death, that is the death of beliefs that no longer serve you. some new thoughts about yourself but they're still not the ones that will help you release that is the theme within this reading is release we have a lot of things that we need to release and now is the time to do so it's time to start breaking karmic cycles it's time to start realizing our worth there's an awakening happening and it doesn't make sense to sit on the side and refuse your awakening. It doesn't make sense to continue to judge ourselves for feeling guilt, for feeling emotional. We're all emotional. We're all human beings. But you have to sort through, with the Page of Swords, you have to sort through your negative thoughts sort through the things that don't belong to you that don't serve you any longer if not you will continue to feel torn you will feel, continue to feel alone in the midst of a group of people no one can help you with your own feelings you have to sort through them for yourself okay and so I have some reflection cards each card has two questions on them I will either read one or two, it depends on how they connect with your reading. I'm all about reflection and looking inward. And this is the perfect time to do so, and I hope that these reflection cards bring clarity, okay? That's the box. Mm, but it's perfect. All right. Okay. All right. 
What are you holding on to that you need to let go of? Is the first question. What are you holding on to that you need to let go of? I'm gonna ask it again, because three times a charm. What are you holding on to that you need to let go of? What's no longer serving you? Okay. And some of you will instinctively know. It'll come right into your mind. The first thing that comes into your mind, that's your answer. The second question is, what is one thing that doesn't cost anything, occurs naturally, and always makes you smile? Okay. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. What is one thing that doesn't cost anything, occurs naturally, and always makes you smile? Sometimes focusing on the good will also help us release the negative. Being aware of our partners and the people around us help us realize the things that we need to release okay okay guys i hope that this resonated i hope that it brought clarity to you um please if this resonated at all like comment and subscribe leave a message down below i'd love to hear feedback on the things that we need to release okay i'm releasing we all have things that we need to release and i'd love to hear what some of those things are for you guys okay have a great day peace